pray the Lord. Give all that you've done to him in my life, to my vision, to my pastor. Happy birthday, pastor. Amen. Okay, I really need more. Amen. Amen. You know, um, I thank God for, for me being here today. I thank God. I went and got a tooth pulled, and they were red out of my mouth. And I was thanking God because my, my nerve was up. I touched, my blood pressure was up. And I kept drinking water. I took my pill, drinking water, drinking water. And when I got to the dinner, I, my blood pressure was down. And I was thanking God. Amen. So they had to go way down in my gum to get it out. But I still thanking God. So I, I said, God, you can do anything you want to do. You can do anything but it's impossible. But I came up to the dentist's office. Good. They gave me two pain pills. I took one. And God let me know I didn't have no pain. So you are welcome to say and shout. Do anything you want the Lord lead you to do. Amen. Okay, so can we get a response from a guest church, please? Respond, but Bray got the 77 is from Pastor David's birthday. <laughs> okay, that's my birthday. <laughs> Amen. We thank God for responding. Amen. Amen. Um, well, excuse me, if you could start, I got some dizzy. I had one back to pray for me. Amen. 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 We're going to go right on this program. Praise the Lord. We're going to have some expressions uh, by our pastor from uh, Apostle. Apostle. Amen. Excuse me. From Sister Cookie. Praise God in the name of Jesus. I thank the Lord for being here. I thank the Lord for being here to honor uh, my pastor, um, her 77th birthday, and also to honor my bishop, I mean my apostle, and my pastor, Apostle and Pastor Davis. You know, I would just like to just take a little stroll down my room and just tell you, you know, just how I met the woman and man of God. I met the woman of God and man of God back in 1988. I met them at a little house. They were coming from Atlanta down to this little town called Jenkinsburg to do praise service and my mama she got dressed to go to church like she was going to church I didn't know why I was going so all I know she said she going to see a man I didn't know what kind of man she was talking about I didn't know it was a man that give numbers read poems I just didn't know but all I know is that she said she was going to see a man and she was dressed up like she was going to church so praise God, I got dressed. All I knew was I was in need of help. I didn't know what kind of help I could get there, but I knew I was in need of help. I met him when I was 19, so I went on back to the man of God, and I knew when I looked at him, it was something strange, something that wasn't ordinary about this man. He asked me that I want some tracks. And so I took the tracks, and you know, I knew that I, as a man of God went on that night, I knew I began to feel funny and began to feel strange, a great feeling, a feeling that I just can't explain, a, a, that's just, that you can't explain, but I began to feel a great feeling around this man of God. In the name of Jesus, said, you know, I went, we were just back and forth and going to church from Jenkinsburg back to Atlanta. First time, you know, coming out of a Methodist church, I didn't know anything about divine healing. I didn't know anything about demonic spirits. I saw things that I didn't normally see. And I was amazed. And I want you to know that I was on nerve pills. 
Amen. At the age, ever since I ever since I met. And the word of God, she prophesied to me. I forget what it was, but she said in 30 days you will come off these nerves. You will come off that junk, you know. And I and God did just what he said he would do. In the name of Jesus. And I praise God. And, you know, even though I had to go back home, but I thank God for the time that I was off those pills, praise God. You know, I thank God in the name of Jesus that later on when the apostle had closed down the church in Griffin, I went from church to church looking for somebody like a apostle and pastor, but they were nowhere to be found. And then back in, when I was attending another church down there in Butts County, I got sick. Very, very sick. And I went to the man of God that I was under. And the man of God turned me away like it was nothing said, there was nothing he could do. Jesus. Which was a very, you know, hurt feeling. So I came home and I called the man of God. So what I did was I went home, went and rolled myself in the hospital. I went and rolled myself in a mental hospital. And uh, I called the man of God that Friday. That was a Thursday and I called the man of God that Friday. He said, daughter, you in the hospital? I said, yes, pastor. And he began to pray, and then I could hear him starting to cry over the phone oh, because he knew what the devil was trying to do. Oh. And when I got out of the middle hospital, I went to my pastor. We didn't, I didn't, you know, my uh, parents began to bring me to, from Jackson to Atlanta about an hour drive. And we were coming on Friday night, so we were coming on Sunday. But I want you to know, as I had that nervous bre breakdown, there's a man of God praying, and the word of God praying, the church of God praying. I walked out of that nervous breakdown in about three months.
I can only go by what they told me and what God told them to do for me to be here today in my side. Oh, Jesus. All right. But I do know I'm supposed to be paralyzed from my waist down. Oh, my yes. I know I'm not supposed to be standing here today yes, walking and talking. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, yes. And I just love them uh -huh. so much. I love God. The spirit that he has in them, what how he works through them. Yes, yes. And I tell the story all the time because it's amazing to me that I'm still here. Even though I trust God, believe God, but some things is just so amazing. Yes, yes. It is really hard to explain. And through it all trials, tribulations, whatever I'm going through, whatever's bothering me, whatever's worrying me, I can always call on this great yeah. man and woman of God. I don't care if it's 2 o'clock in the morning. I don't care if it's 4 o'clock in the morning. I don't care what time it is. I can call them. They would not say, baby, wait till I get up. <laughs> well, baby, let me call you back. Amen. I passed out of my bathroom, couldn't get up. Body just shot down on me. My son called them, told them what to do to me. And guess what I'm here? Yeah, yeah. That's why if they ask me or need me to do anything, I'm there. Amen. If I ain't got it, I'm gonna find a way of getting it. And I'm gonna do it. But I just wanna let y'all know that I love y'all from the bottom of my heart. Words can explain how much. We thank God, Sister Sherry, for those words, amen, that our pastor, our apostle, amen, and know they are great men and women of God, praise the Lord, and God has done great work for them and the people, amen. Right here, excuse me, right here we have some songs, some selections for our guest churches. First, we're going to call them Christian mission, we'll go to New, New Harvest. Amen. Amen. Jesus, he's my son. 